Hi, Amber. Hi, mom. I'm excited. We are doing our, maybe not our first, maybe our fourth video Fifth. together. Fifth. It's been two years come Ooh, December. Good. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And we're working with some interesting lighting. So it's like afternoon, evening where you are. Yes. But hey, this is technology. We get to be together from afar. Exactly. Makes me very happy. Me too. All right. We have right. some topics to share with both of our audiences. Yes. Mm -hmm. You can introduce your channel first and then I'll reintroduce mine. Sounds good. Okay. My channel, you may be watching this on, is my YouTube channel, Amber Dayton. And I'm going to go through a few topics in regards to Blueprint. And I think we're both going to get into single motherhood. And I am Sue Ann uh, Dayton, and I'm just restarting because there's been so many changes in both of our lives. Yes. So for your audience, uh, you know, I'm pretty prejudiced, but Amber's awesome. And for those that would like to see what we've done in the past together, but this is all new moving forward as I'm going through some things too. And uh, welcome. I encourage everyone hit that like button, smash that subscribe. Let's get this girl like way over a thousand. Yes. Okay. Yes, let's Take do it. Away. Take um, it away. Okay. Just confirming, just so everyone knows your channel is called Soul Light Work. Correct. And I do want, I mean, this is going to be so hard. Can you give people a synopsis of your last five years in two minutes? Thank you for asking. Yes, I can do it. You know me, I can do it. So everyone, uh, welcome aboard again. Uh, I am Amber's mother. I am 68 years young and I went through a life-changing crisis of a renal transplant in April uh, 27th of 2021. And you can tell I'm feeling pretty good. And I've also discovered human design. Now, if you'll look at our prior videos, it covers a lot of our dialogue together as mother-daughter. And I'm really on board with Amber. She has so much um, passion and enthusiasm for going down this blueprint uh, road. I myself have been studying human design. Uh, I want to recommend, while everybody's there, the International Human Design School. I wanted to go to as close to the authenticness that I could find. There's many people out there that's really talking a lot about human design. Very popular in Europe. Rich, Richard Belmont on YouTube is who I highly recommend. This is the, the, uh, the official book by Linda Bolinell that you can get on Amazon or wherever. And uh, again, there's so many books out there. Go with the original is what I would recommend. So having said all that, mm -hmm. we live in different states. Um, I look forward to seeing uh, Amber and my granddaughter as often as I can. Uh, is that short enough? Oh yeah, no, that was great. <laughs> great. Take it away. I mean, Take you've, it away. Been, you've been through so much and- and I'm so grateful. Yeah, no. Uh, it's been a transformative few years. Yes, and for both of us. It really, yeah. And I feel like my transformation actually began probably in my mid-20s, mid to late 20s. Uh, I had, I would, I would call it a spiritual awakening. I finally, I knew I wasn't fulfilled in the societal norms and the conditioning that I think most people go through. And I had some huge life experiences that uh, propelled me forward. I had to completely let go of certain, I don't know, things I knew and embrace the unknowing to have a more fulfilling experience, existence. And then I'd like to transition that into bl finding Blueprint. I found Blueprint by Brian Johnson about a year and a half, maybe almost two years ago. And that just uh, was like confirmation affirmation that I really just have lived in a socially conditioned world and it's okay to, and it's actually necessary to break societal barriers that have been put, put into place in order for me personally to heal. And I have found healing through um, self-care and my diet and focusing on nutrition. So Blueprint has helped pave that way for nutrition uh, and lifestyle choices. And I'm really excited of, of, about that. 
I am excited for you, Amber. I've seen tremendous change and growth in you. I've uh, always been very proud of your endeavors, uh, finishing a degree and being a single mom. Mm -hmm. uh, you were raised by a single mom, although your dad was involved. Mm -hmm. So uh, yeah, we can we, we cover a lot of ground. Um, most importantly, that self-care word that you use there for the audience, um, I cannot say that enough. And I believe strongly that a lot of my health issues stem from not taking care of myself properly. And from there, it's a bottom line. It's a bottom line for me. I did have a near-death experience that was briefly touched upon in our prior videos that we did together, but that, that changed my world. I mean, I've had several awakenings throughout my time period. We never, ever, never, ever stopped growing. And I had a hundred year old father, never stop growing. Always, always keep growing. Mm -hmm. And past is gone. Let it go. The what ifs aren't here. All we have is now, right now. Okay. So I know you touched a little bit on human design. Uh, yeah. when you were doing your intro. So what were you going to go in more in depth in with living your design guide certified, not self? Thank you. Thank you. So the International Human Design School is those that officially certify uh, analysts. And there's different levels. You, If a person resonates with the aspects of human design, Google it. It's all over the YouTube. Mm -hmm. um, there's some foundation courses that open you up to this. And then as you become a certified person, it's a, it's a three to four year process afterwards. And I'm, I'm um, once you hear about human design and if it's something that resonates with you, it's a seven year changing of your life because this is an experiment it's not a religion it's not a cult. and it's once you learn what human design is you begin to change and i'm about three years into my experiment uh once i had this knowledge so part of that foundation course there was an additional course that i took that i can actually start giving people the living your design first foundation course i'm certified in doing that and why i've not really really followed down that line is that I'm learning to become a certified analyst for the full meal deal. Mm -hmm. So I am certified in that beginning course, and I will put links in the future to, to bring people on board. If you're interested in starting that foundation course, which is just, it's just a taste. There's so many levels to this, but if it's something that people just want to taste, it's great. Mm -hmm. If people want the whole meal, full meal deal, then it's a step process. So again, it's going to resonate one way or the other with each individual, but just knowing the basics, it will change your life. It changed mine. Remind me what you are and what I am. In Astrologically? Oh, in human design. Thank you. So in human design, Amber, you and I are both what we call manifesting generators and 70% of us in human design and in the globe 70% of us, if we all had our charts done, would be generators. Now we're a subcategory, but we'll always be generators. Mm -hmm. I particularly have a, it's called the channel from the motor to the mouth. Mm -hmm. And we, we're here to build the world. We have the energy once we respond correctly. Yeah. If we, it's like, if you feel passionately about something, like it, it if it aligns with who you are inside, Correct. I know that spurs on momentum and like, a path I want to go on versus if I have no interest, I'm not going to put energy forth. That's right. And, and really it's basically how you're designed to respond. Um, yeah. You and I have the motor that when we sleep at night, we regenerate and we're ready to take on the world. But what we needed to learn is, is there a response? You know, does your, it's not your mind that's in charge. There's the key. Mm -hmm. We learn through human design. It's not the mind we're taught in our society. If you can think it, you can make it happen. Well, you and I, historically can say yes to the wrong things or we use up our energy for other people's work not what brings us passion and again it can from conditioning you know societal familial the not self-talking that we've been been told about and uh yeah correctly so you and i are manifesting generators so it's kind of a blend uh the other types are um 20 10 and one percent and i've done extensive research on our family uh I have friends that are reflectors, which are very rare, the 1%. Uh, mm -hmm. We have a lot of your cousins are projectors, which is 20%. And we have a couple of members that are manifestors, which are 10%. Mm -hmm. so, I want, can I add on to all that information? Sure. I, I Taking it all in again, speaking of the mind, going back to the mind, 
Yes. I do hear what you're saying, that the mind can get in the way sometimes. With that being said, people don't fully understand the mind though either. The, the brain, right. the brain right. is so complex. I just want to add in what I'm learning on the side is really through, through blueprint specifically, really uh, taking care back to self-care, taking care of yourself, giving yourself the uh, nutritious uh, diet, the exercise you need every day, the sleep, most importantly, that you need yes. every night to, to recover and to, uh, to essentially heal and repair. I feel like, uh, and I believe that you're able to be a more optimal version of you, including your mind and body by, by doing that. That's right. Um, it's, it's the wholeness aspect of who we are. You're right. It, it doesn't mean that we don't pay attention to our mind. I mean, we do need our mind. Mm -hmm. uh, you, for example, uh, only 30% of people or these different types of people have what we call the defined head and Ajna. So we talk about chakras and there's so many things to talk about, but yours is defined, but you're only one of 30%. So me who does not have that aspect in my chart, you inspire us, you have a great mind and you're here to help us learn. You inspire us. Mm -hmm. So uh, yes, the nutrition, there's also an aspect to human design that we're not all created equal on what we eat and how we eat and when we eat. Mm -hmm. I do best if I eat with sunlight. I've already had my chart done and revealed that. Um, a lot of people in your case, you're built to release the pressure through exercise. Mm -hmm. So important. You get that high. You know, I want to vomit, but you get the high. <laughs> so um yeah, yeah, but no, the, the, like we said, the brain the brain is incredible, but it's it's not for decision because you can talk yourself into it, you can talk yourself out of it. But what did your gut said initially? Yes don't or no? Believe, don't believe every thought you think. That's absolutely not. that's something I'm learning. Yes, not believe every. I mean, most definitely don't believe every thought you think. Don't you find it's like a like a recording? You know, you get these oh, yeah. thoughts coming in, and they just come and they go and they come and they go. Yeah, it'd be very difficult for meditation because it's hard to clear the mind. Mm -hmm. How about we pivot into our experiences with single motherhood? Yeah, sure. Would you like to go first? Sure. It has been interesting to, in a way, follow in your footsteps, so to speak. I think that's very common, typically, though, with a lot of people. I think a lot of children grow up into adults that sometimes you do repeat what was your experience, whether I was intentional about it or not. Uh, I know I always wanted my daughter, so I'm very grateful to be a mom. She brings so much joy and love to my world and to the world. Uh, but I have found <laughs> I'm able to take better care of myself, you know, we can maybe touch on men. There's some great men out there. There are. Yes, but, there are. Uh, I have found I've not picked the healthiest relationships for me, you know, and I'm able to, with the challenges that being a single mom and single parent bring, I'm able to take better care of myself overall and be more authentic. I'm finally being the most authentic version of Amber as I can be. And I felt that I was suppressing who I was in my prior relationships. I I hear what you're saying and I agree hundred percent. I like that you were used the word authenticity. What fills me with great happiness is that you're finding your authentic self many years before I embraced my authentic self. Mm -hmm. um, you're right, generational does change, familial, uh, issues mm -hmm. continue on, but as you and I've talked, we have the opportunity in this generation mm -hmm. to change what came before us. And I believe both of you and I, in our own ways have made some drastic changes for the better. I and I agree. Yes, I agree. And I'm very proud of your ability with your daughter. Uh, you're an amazing mother. Mm -hmm. And I was thrilled to have you as a daughter. You're now I'm mom yourself. We well, have such you. a good time. <laughs> We have fun. We do we have, have fun. fun. A lot of fun. Don't even get us started on a dance video, Amber. Um, 
get us started. I dare you. <laughs> Johnsons have nothing on us on dancing. <laughs> they do have some pretty um, good moves, I will say. They had great moves. But, but you he know, can taste your tag. Oh, you're hilarious. Um, so anyway, uh, thank you for that because um that means a lot to me. And uh, as you know, we've talked about this before. If there's something that I did that you don't like, you have that power to make it different. Mm -hmm. And I discovered that with me in my situation. And, and so as you and I know, the biggest gift we can give ourselves is to the realize the people that raised us did the best they knew how to do. It may not have been right, but they only did what they knew how to do, be it functional or dysfunctional. Mm -hmm. um, but, but learning to be aware, intentional, you know, to be, to take yourself in the now and not get lost in 40 million things that are coming your way, you know, turn off the freaking TV. Um, yeah, I don't have a TV anymore. <laughs> I know, but I, you know, I, I do a lot of documentaries. I, I, I seek out things that lift me now. Yeah. I, um, it's there. People have to look for the good, right? It's, it's all around us. Embrace what's good because there's enough of the other that we don't need that. And it just brings you down like energy vampires. I think we've talked about that. So yeah, you look for the good. I agree. I agree. There are so many energy vampires out there. And some of it is just, that is, I don't know what agenda it is because it's conditioned. It's a, it's a conditioned global situation. You know, the dichotomy of good and evil and good and bad, you know, it's kind of like uh, we need the sun and we need the moon, mm -hmm. you know, one's in daylight, one's in dark. Uh, it's something that's, that's not, um, going to go away in our lifetime, nor should it. Oh, well, in with fact, I feel like it's going to increase to an extent because of all the algorithms and all the technologies. Are you saying that negativity is going to increase? Is that what you're saying? I feel like, uh, at this point, you know, T a lot of people are addicted to TV, to TV, uh, to the news and they're being fed certain information or they're seeking out certain information that might suck energy out of them or be a lot of negativity. And I don't, at, at this moment in time, and maybe into the next five, 10 years, I don't necessarily see it decreasing. Well, here's what I'd like to offer up. I think there's many people that are as positive, if not more positive than us. Mm -hmm. And I believe that we have a purpose on this earth. You know, I strongly believe that. And oh. our purpose is to kind of like reveal the light yes. we don't have control on anybody's you have free will it's a choice it's a choice yes but as your grandfather said at age 100 you know do you choose faith or, or do you choose fear mm -hmm. so i'm encouraging anyone that's listening to this uh, video today you know i'm just here to encourage you to choose, choose faith or choose choose something that's going to uplift you because why would you choose not why yeah. would you choose why do you choose to stay in that negativity? You know, but everybody's, what if, what if, what if you're in a pattern and, and realize you don't have to be part of it. Unplug, unplug that. There we go. I like it. Let's throw that away. It's there out. we go. It's out. All yeah. right. I love it. So let's talk about what's to come. What's to right. come, mom? Well, here's what's exciting. Uh, I told everybody uh, that's listening that I was a seeker. I pretty much explored... A lot of, th I know many things, but I'm the master of nothing except for my prior career. I did high risk OB ultrasound. It was a passion. So as far as astrologically speaking, which was what I was really into before human design, this just kind of is everything for me. So again, uh, Pluto and Aquarius is starting and uh, is coming on. It's going to be here for 20 years, folks. Uh, Pluto always reveals darkness and delight. So what is dark in your aspects of who you are will be revealed to you. Mm -hmm. And it turns out so good. I've been, I've been cognizant of this through six movements in my chart. It starts off rough and then I'm better than I've ever been in my life at the end of Pluto's transfer. So 20 years mm -hmm. and Amber's Aquarius rising. So she, anybody, if you're Your here Aquarius moon. and I have an Aquarius moon, my grandparents are Aquarius. Anyway, my point is, and I'm going to finish up because Amber is going to wrap it up that you have chosen to be now you have chosen to, to take this ride that will change humanity. Mm, love that. It's going to change. We will oh, yeah. not be, we will not be the same. So for those that are kicking and screaming and dragging, you know, you can go through it, bring it, or bring you can it. go through it and scream. Yeah. So I choose bring it because it's coming anyway. It's 
come Embrace in anyway. It. Embrace it. Embrace it. it. Yeah, I let's embrace it. All right, your turn. Right. Okay, rapid, rapid fire. Uh, you can expect more updates on Blueprint because this is an exciting endeavor that I believe is going to be a piece that changes humanity. And check out both of our channels for more updates. For uh, right. in every week, I'll be posting, and my mom, she's coming back. <laughs> <laughs> All of you out there can find more of my amazing mom, Sue Ann, at Soul Light Work on YouTube. And those out there can find my daughter, Amber Dayton, at the YouTube channel, Amber Dayton. Mm -hmm. Remember, like, subscribe, subscribe. watch it, Comment. Subscribe. thousands and thousands and thousands. We care about you. That's that's what our bottom line is, isn't it, Amber? We, we care about our subscribers. The bottom, yeah, the bottom line, even to go a little deeper... You and yes. I, you and I care about humanity. We do. Mm -hmm. We do. Mm -hmm. Kumbaya. Exactly. Very much so. So I just. Because, uh, Amber, I'm sorry for interrupting you. You and I know so many people that don't even like themselves. So people, how can you love anyone if you don't even like yourself? So that's, that's my bottom line saying, come watch and, and we'll, we'll talk about, you know, bottom line, love yourself. Love, love yourself. yourself. And love I know yourself. It takes work though. Like, cause I can even attest to that. I've had, many, I've had many, I have had many moments of life where I did not like or love myself. And I just, I want to hug that version of me. Yes. Make it I, all good. I was also seeking, you know, external like and love. And now it's like, well, I like and love myself. So <laughs> I don't need the external validation. It's, it's more so I just want to seek like-minded people. Yes. And, and that's again, you know, with how I'm believing the universe has our back. I learned that through my near death experience. So we have to surrender. We have to surrender. And honest to God, the universe was what's best for us that we're getting in our own way. Mm -hmm. We're getting in our mm -hmm. own way of what's best for us. Mm -hmm. Get out of the way and just let it come. Yeah. Bond. Cause a lot of things will come. It doesn't mean yes to everything. It okay. means what is meant for me will come to you and you'll feel the response. I agree. Yeah, totally agree. All right. Oh, this has been super fun. Super fun. Let's do it again. Would love and to the subscribers. We invite you to both of our channels and we care about you and we're excited that you're going to be joining us and um, yeah, drop us a line. It'll be fun. Fine. Let's go with each other into the future. In the age of Aquarius. <laughs> you, get, you get to be in it and I get to watch it as it as it starts its uh, beginnings. I've waited so long. Age of Aquarius. I'm so glad you're here. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. I'm so glad you get to be I'm so glad I didn't check out, right? I yes. was given the gift of life. So yes. I'm here to do it. I want to do it with you as much as I can. Yeah. I and I want to watch your daughter become all that she's going to be. And all of you people. Know that you're meant to be here now. You're important. And I'm glad you're here. I'm glad everyone's here. Thank you. Shall we sign off, Amber? We should. All right. Okay. Mwah.